Hi there, Rick Leinecker here, and today we're going to talk about getting started with JavaScript in our HTML pages. So here I've got a, an HTML page created, paste in some boilerplate code here. Now I'm going to add a span tag here. And we're going to say hello world. And if I save that and render it, Pretty simple, right? Okay. Notice I haven't given the span any kind of style or anything, and for right now I'm not going to. Okay, so there are some JavaScript events. And these JavaScript events include things like on mouse over, on mouse out, and on click. And those are the ones we're going to be talking about right now. So to use these events, you just type on mouse over equals, and it's got to be something and usually you want to put it in quotes and in this case I'm just going to change the color of the text that I mouse over so this dot style dot color and we'll set it to red now I can do it without quote marks if I use the, the regular double quote marks it's going to totally mess up because the whole thing's already in the double quote marks so I'm going to use single quote marks which is acceptable and I'm going to say red Okay. It's quotes within quotes, but it's single quote marks within double quote marks, so that's okay. Save that guy. Uh, run this HTML. Notice my hello world is, is still black text. Um, so where did the red come from? Well, when I hover the mouse over that text, it turns red, as you can see. All right. Now, that wasn't very good because when I take the mouse out, it stays red. So somehow I have to service another event called on mouse out. Let me make the notepad a little bit bigger so you can see this. On mouse out. And I'm going to try to format this a little better. So on mouse out equals, remember our double quote marks there. Okay. Um, and this time we're going to turn it black again. This dot style dot color equals remember our single quote thing black okay save it let's run it so now when I mouse over hello world it turns red and when I mouse out it turns back black again okay and even though this is not a hyperlink of any kind you can still service the on click um, event such as on click equals remember double quotes it's always going to be the same pattern you have double quotes for the, the event command, and then you can use single quotes inside to um, call out things like colors. Okay, on click, I'm going to say, I'm going to put up an alert. There's a JavaScript function called alert. Hello world. And notice that inside of this alert function, I use single quotes instead of double quotes because I didn't want to contradict these outer uh, double quotes. And this is like the C++ language. Okay, you have a, a function name, alert, you have your parameters or your arguments, um, and then you have a semicolon. And a lot of people do really sloppy JavaScript code and they leave off that semicolon. I'm going to recommend that you, you make sure you keep it in there because later on it will get you in trouble if you get in the habit of leaving that off. Okay, so let's run this here. Okay, my on on mouse over and on mouse out still works. If I click, I get a little alert box there that says hello world, and everybody is happy. Now, this is not optimal to have stuff in line inside of our HTML. Because what happens is our HTML itself starts to get really, really messy. We have all this um, JavaScript code inside of there. So what we really want to do is come up here into the head, and it could be anywhere else. It doesn't have to be in the head, but uh, that's my preference in most people. Language equals JavaScript. Okay, and notice we have a start tag here. And as we already know, we need to end it somewhere, right? Okay. So we're going to create a function called make me red. Um, and it's going to take an object. Okay, and we're just saying object 
dot style dot color equals red. Semicolon. And we're gonna have a function called make me black. don't need the object for this. So we're going to remove that and say alert hello world. Now it's permissible inside of this function to use double quotes. I'm not going to um, because I still prefer to use the single quotes uh, for my JavaScript programming. So here what we do, instead of all that stuff, we'll make sure we call the make the red function, but we have to give it the object. Okay. And this just means whatever my current object is. Okay, it's an object-oriented programming type thing. Make me black. And here we're going to say hello. Call the say hello function. Now the nice thing here is that I can put hundreds of lines of code in here, and it's still this is the only thing I get inside of my um, HTML. So this makes it a lot cleaner and um, helps me organize my program a lot better. Okay, save that guy. Let's just make sure everything still works. Yeah, okay, we'll hover over works. Round click works and we're happy. Okay, so what we've done is we've created three functions, make me red, make me black, say hello. And let's just talk about this argument that I passed out. That's a reference to the HTML span tag. Where did I get it from? When I made this call, I passed in a special variable called this. The this variable means whatever my current object is, um, is what I'm passing in. Now, pretty much for span tags that I'm going to do operations on, I'll almost always give it an ID. Say test me, and that way, from within my JavaScript code, I can actually even if I don't have this variable, I can find it. The uh, document object model has a way where you can look through the list of objects and find that object as long as you have an ID. So I usually get in the habit of giving almost all of my objects that I'm going to perform um, any kind of JavaScript on. I'll give them an ID. Okay, so that's the basics of getting started with JavaScript. I'm going to make these videos kind of short just so that we can you know, get these uh, things down. And for now, that'll be all. There'll be more coming soon.